Okay, so we're going to do another invoice adjustment. This one has uh, some material as well. So let's go ahead and get started on it. So as usual, we're going to open a new tab with this job and put it to our second monitor. Once we do that, we'll go to the invoice page and we'll get to work. So let's add an adjustment invoice. Update invoice details. COD on this one. And then like usual invoice adjustment for John Fulford on this one. And let's copy and save this for our task. And we'll start adding the task. First one is trip one. Copy and paste invoice adjustment. And this one was at $40, so we're going to put negative 40. Everything else looks good. Let's add another task. Labor four and this is for four hours of labor and the unit price was at negative 99.95 and then as always negative in front of the sold hours you never have to change this just put a minus sign if there is a number and then those are our labor tasks. Now we have material. So let's go to add material. And first one's miscellaneous material. And it, first one is 47, 29. Make sure I put a minus sign and we can save that. And then add a material. We have one more. It's under miscellaneous again. This one is for 132.24. Negative 132.24. There's no cost on this one, so we're going to leave it as is. Alrighty, so the total is correct. 439.80. So with that, we're going to create our next invoice adjustment. Okay, now we're back at the original invoice screen and we are ready to make our second invoice adjustment. This first one here was to remove the balance from Meridian Senior Living. And of course, now we are creating a new invoice adjustment to bill this balance to the correct customer, which is Gentry Park. So first things first, let's go to update invoice details. We're going to select invoice type net 30 because that's what they are. The rate sheet is fine. Let's go to bill two and change this to Gentry Park. And then as always, we will copy the invoice summary from the original invoice word for word and paste it here. Go ahead and go to save. Now we can see Bill 2 Gentry Park and the location is Gentry Park. Now we can start adding tasks. 
one. Now you'll notice with customer specific pricing, you'll see zero because we usually calculate it. Um, so if you wanted to, you could just go, this is an advanced tip, but you could go to save and then add a task. Actually, we could probably just do this. Calculate, calculate. And it's going to go ahead and drop on the labor for us. So it just saves a step. And then we can start adding more materials. And let's go ahead and copy the material description that Brian left, motor start capacitor. And for the price, we will put 47.29. For the cost, he has zero. For whatever reason, uh, I hate putting that, but that's what he has. So we're gonna click save. And for the future, always call your technicians and find out what the, the costs are for these materials. Do not leave it blank, please. Let's add our last material. It's another miscellaneous material. Sorry. And then the second one is an infinite switch. And this. And then cost you zero again, and then we're going to do one thirty two twenty four. Go to save. And let's check the total, 439.80, perfecto. So this invoice adjustment is done. At this point, you would go ahead and email it out, or you could print it and send it. Thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next one.